Here, I have the Hassan video. It starts... Okay. Approaching, y'all. What is this? I don't understand. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously way ahead of where you were supposed to link. Oh, uh, this is where I stopped watching the stream. <laughs> this is where I stopped watching the stream. Because <laughs> it was too cringe. I was watching the stream last night. By the way, chat, I want to show you... This is incredible. The original Dave Rubin. Did you know Tim Pool got his start because he did videos at the Occupy Wall Street protests? Now, if there was another type of protest against Wall Street, he'd be there to personally lick the shoes clean of every Wall Street uh, banker. Oh my God, this mediocrity. I hate Tim Pool more than almost any other person. Jesus Christ. Absolute scum of the earth. No amount of children dying should justify someone having their rights take o taken away. That's All right, just it. So, so you if do that's not the get to strip so By the way, if that's the logic, if there's no consequences that would make him change his mind, he should be put in a mental institution. The Constitution is not a suicide pact. I don't agree with giving mentally deranged people nuclear bombs. I don't care what some dipshit 300 years ago wrote they didn't they couldn't contemplate the society that we live in and many of the founding fathers thought it was wrong to have a constitution that bound the next generation thomas jefferson thought every 20 years we should rewrite the constitution i'm not that radical i just think we should rewrite it i don't know once every 200 fucking years it means we're past due if your beliefs are that a million children could be slaughtered in a concentration camp, and it's A-OK, -okay, you're a fucking Nazi, Tim. You're a fucking Nazi. We, and I, yeah, I have a consequentialist uh, perspective on a lot of things. What actually happens in reality matters. 19 children dying, and by the way, that's not the only mass shooting we've had this year. You know, we've had thousands of mass shootings. People in the UK want a constitution and looking at how it's being used to justify certain policies in the US, I really don't want it here. You would only, a constitution could be bad or it could be good. Depends on what's in it. Do people have the power to propose laws themselves by gathering signatures not in the federal level? A constitutional convention would be a bad thing until the people are back in charge. It would have to be democratic. And I want to get rid of the states. The states should not exist. In the new formulation of the United States of America, there should be no states like they are now. The current borders should be dissolved. We should reformulate the divisions in this country. There, it makes no fucking sense to have the 50 states that we have. We need to get rid of the 50 states. Come up with new regions uh, and ways of, of, of uh, uh, dividing the country. 50 states and the way they were drawn are fucking stupid. There's no justification to have a North and a South Dakota and a Wyoming and a Nebraska and a Utah and a Idaho. No, 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 it's stupid. And why does Dakota have two states? It was the Dakota Territory. Why does Dakota have a North Dakota and a South Dakota? For most of our history, it was called the Dakota Territory. Why did they get two states? Because the Republican Party wanted four senators and not two, and they could do it. They were in power in the federal level, so they admitted two states instead of one. And they got more senators. They wanted to have more sen. That's it. And from a fluke, of the, a fluke of history, they've continued to have those four senators. Why is California and Texas so big? Because the fr free states and slave states needed to be balanced at the time. They just admitted it as one big state. That's it. There's no logic to it. It's not some sort of reasoned decision. These were political compromises made hundreds of years ago. And we're going to let those dictate our fucking future of the planet? It's madness. Any society, uh, you, I mean, there's just no way to justify it through any kind of sense. And it's not that it's serving us well. Having these institutions does not make us the best governed with the highest happiness and the best life expectancy. Blah, blah. If we actually had the best outcomes, that would be one thing. But we have some of the worst. The system does not acquit well. It needs to change. There have been 16 shootings since the Uvalde shooting. How could anyone see this list and not support action? Because they're insane. Because they've been told somewhere that having a gun gives you some sort of protection. It doesn't. You fucking clown. Someone of their human rights because of harm to children. Do you want to, you want to have a conversation about trans kids? Dead fucking wrong. If somebody had an illness and whenever they met someone, they killed them. That person should not be able to meet people. That person should be locked up. And this isn't a, this isn't a hypothetical. It already exists. It's called typhoid Mary. 
She was a lady who had typhoid. She was a carrier of typhoid, a disease called typhoid. And she consisted on working in, she was a chef. And when she would cook for people, she would kill them. Now, she had no symptoms herself, but she just kept working in kitchens. They kept telling her to stop. Eventually, she just had to be arrested and put in prison. So yes, even if, if you, we could prevent other people dying by taking away your rights because you're a psychotic piece of shit, then we take away your rights. Now, what exactly, what right are we even talking about here? What right are we talking about here? We're talking about the right to own a, 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 a semi-automatic uh, military-grade uh, 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 assault rifle. A semi-automatic, so what do I mean by that? I mean a semi-automatic weapon using a military-grade cartridge, 5.56, 762 and there's a plenty of other rifle cartridges that would 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 qualify that is semi-automatic low recoil the purpose of which is not hunting the purpose of which is to kill a lot of people very quickly and it's very effective to do that in a semi-automatic mode automatic and semi-automatic are an arbitrary distinction that literally doesn't matter as far as the effectiveness in killing people in fact many military doctrines say don't use automatic fire except in certain circumstances what a single shot rifle, semi-automatic rifle, is probably more effective to kill people with than an automatic weapon in most circumstances. Gun control works really, really fucking well at preventing random guys from shooting you. And the idea that the Second Amendment is making America better, in what way is Second Amendment making America better? Is it helping us build some sort of leftist movement? Are you fucking nuts? We're far more likely to see AOC or Bernie Sanders shot by one of these AR-15s than a self-protection force led by the new Black Panthers of doing any goddamn thing. We are far, 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 far more likely to see a Black Lives Matter protest shot with an AR-15. Oh wait, we already did. That name's Kyle Rittenhouse. Than any sort of right-winger get anything from these weapons. These weapons are not enhancing the left's revolutionary p potential, even a minuscule amount. You're batshit crazy, if you think that is. I'm glad that Mike is walking back his dog shit take. I mean, personally, I, th I think that if you want to join self-defense organizations, fucking do it. But understand that if the choice is between that and m gun control, I'm picking gun control every fucking time. Didn't Mark say that any attempt to disarm the working class should be resisted? He was talking about a revolutionary vanguard, which we don't have. Every single socialist state has been totally fine controlling weapons in the hands of the regular civilian population. You're talking about a disciplined, organized proletariat, which we do not have. We do not have self-actualized, self-class-aware proletarians in a vanguard party organizing for revolution. This does not apply. Just because you could put words in a sentence doesn't mean it means all sorts of dumbass shit. You need to know the context. Such an Amerabrained way of interpreting fucking Marx. You literally don't know what you're talking about, which is okay. Of course, that's a reasonable question to ask because you see that propaganda, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Didn't Bernie and AOC just okay 40 billion in weapons for Ukraine? What kind of weapons did they okay? Bushmaster ARs? I'm sure there's some ARs in there, but they approved artillery. Per man portable rockets and by the way the ukrainians are still getting their shit pushed in i didn't cover the story but they're crying right now that they're getting defeated by the russian military and if there was a if there was an actual insurrection against the american government uh, let's assume that there really was a crack up and we were having some sort of uh, uh, uh revolution a la uh, uh uh russia the russian revolution i wouldn't be streaming i would be arrested or uh, by because I would be some sort of a revolutionary. Uh, if you support the revolutionary socialist shit, they'd be coming for you with everything they've got. You'd be in it. You would know. You wouldn't be asking me, well, what about this, Mike? You would already know. Leftists who think all the answers are... Marx himself would tell you that he doesn't have all the answers for everything. Other people who applied Marx for revolutionary purposes came after him, and they wrote all sorts of interesting books you should take a look at. MLRS uh, uh, used to hit strategic hard targets behind enemy lines and what they're going to be receiving from us. Yeah, I support those. Uh, we should all have multiple uh, multiple launch what uh, rocket artillery. Is that what that is? ML, uh, MLRS, is that rocket artillery? Yeah, multiple. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, multiple launch rocket system. Uh, chat, uh, do not. This is what a armed proletariat workers would look like in, in the 21st century. Okay. Arm 20, if you want to do a military revolt and revolution, 
This is the type of arms that you should not allow to be taken away. If you're talking about your little fucking pistol, you're, that's, you're idiotic. Back to Tim Pool being brain dead. And the harm that will befall that, this is good for the no amount of children dying should justify someone having their rights take, taken away. That's just it. You do not get to strip someone of their human rights because of harm to children. Do you want to, you want to have a conversation about trans kids and the harm that will befall them by them being sterilized by puberty blockers, by them um, being being castrated or by girls getting top surgery? You want to talk about their their uh, literally doesn't happen. More children are shot by mass shooters and killed every day in the, every year in this fucking country than trans kids getting any kind of transition. You could just do a hard number count. There's way more kids sh getting shot and killed by guns than there are trans kids. It's not even close. So you, if you're going to try to do this whole, even if we tried, even if we assumed for a second, which by the way, all the, all trans children getting any kind of gender treatment are getting it done under the supervision of multiple medical professionals, determining that with the consent of the child and their parents to proceed with things like puberty blockers, which are reversible by the way. And no one is doing surgical interventions on children because that's not the appropriate age to do gender assignment surgery. You wait for them to grow up into adult bodies before you would want to do something like that. Duh! Guns are now the top child killer of children and adolescents in this country. This is stupid! Rights or infringements or what's happening to these kids. Do you want to strip someone's rights? Let's have that conversation. No, I don't think you're ready to have that conversation. I'm absolutely ready to have the conversation. First of all, what does strip rights mean? Even in the UK, you could get a gun. Even in Australia, you could get a gun. It exists. It's harder. There's procedures you have to. And then a lot of people go, it's not worth the hassle to follow all these rules. And they just don't do it. But it's still available if you really need it. Australia was colonized after the US. Their argument for firearms are probably even stronger. Yet, it's not an issue. I don't want kids to die. Quite the opposite, I want kids to live full, normal, and healthy lives to become adults because that's the important thing. So if you want that, no then you amount. should support massive gun control so that thousands of children will actually be able to grow up into healthy adults. And thousands more will not be permanently fucking PTSD brain damaged from seeing their best friend shot and killed. ...of children dying should justify someone having their rights take o taken away. Of course, that's just fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. Look at these mass shootings. Jesus. And it's all over. It's in blue states. It's in red states. Oklahoma, eight shot. Arizona, six shot. Illinois, the guns in this country are out of fucking control. Uvalde's up to 22 killed now. Jesus. Here, I have the Hassan video. It starts, okay. Approaching y'all. Why we at- Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What is this? I don't understand. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously way ahead of where you were supposed to link. Uh, this is where I stopped watching the stream. <laughs> this is where I stopped watching the stream. Because <laughs> it was too cringe. I was watching the stream last night. By the time guns are useful for the American left, a mass social base will have been established. No, th this idea that like, okay, this idea that like, oh no, what are we going to do? Then poor people are not going to be able to have guns. First of all, poor people can't currently get guns as easily as rich people anyway. Okay, so shut the fuck up. That's how it works. Like, what, what is that? That insane stat that like 3% of the guns are uh, that are out in circulation are, own, I mean, uh, sorry, 50% of the guns that are in circulation right now are owned by 3% of the public. 3% of the public owns 50% of the fucking guns, okay? Yeah, you have gun whales as well, just like in every other industry. It, those motherfuckers are not poor. They're rich. They're rich people. So they have a lot of the fucking guns. But not only that, but also the reason for gun regulation is a good thing. Like, I, I, I believe in gun control and gun safety and gun regulation because I think that poor people and black people and brown people also shouldn't get fucking their faces blown off by their children because they wanted to have a fucking gun to defend themselves. Like, it's so stupid when, like, terminally online lefty guys are like, well, oh, you just want to not arm the proletariat. Like, yeah, bitch, I don't, okay? I don't. I'm not even saying that. Can someone, can someone show me, like, leftist movements anywhere else in the world that are like, we got to make sure that the private, sa the capitalist sale of civilian weapons into the hands of the population is good for the left. Can someone ex like show me where that is existing and not in the United States? 
Because this is very, 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 very... Oh my god. This is very, very, like, Amerabrained, to be honest with you. It's very Amerabrained. It's you like guns, so you're trying to line up your gun liking with your other views. And so you, quite frankly, cherry pick. Greg Friedholm, state of New Hampshire. I propose an amendment that we add a sentence that says, we advocate the right of all private citizens to own any weapon or device which any government agency possesses. Okay, here a second. Uh, we'll need that in writing, please, but you may speak to- Armed revolutions have worked, which of course, duh! But how do those armed revolutions work? Those are historical contingencies. And there's a sequence of events that takes place. When an armed revolution works, what happens? I recommended Battleship Potemkin to you all uh, yesterday or the day before. That's about a mutiny. Sailors on a battleship overthrow the officers of the ship in a mutiny for socialism. In the Russian Civil War, units, police officers, uh, infantrymen go over to the side of the people. The Carnation Revolution in Portugal started by young leftist military officers that then became a street revolution to overthrow the fascist government that Portugal had. That's how armed revolutions work, is you have, there's such a desire for change that the people seize part of the state's arms. It isn't like a bunch of people bought a bunch of guns and then uh, uh, they use those guns to shoot the unified government. The government itself divided and brought weapons and arms and equipment. And yeah, in such a situation, every rifle you can get, every am piece of ammunition you can get would be useful. What are you going to do? Store hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition, thousands of rifles uh, for, the, for the eventual moment where you can supply the revolution? That seems to me to be a little bit of a joke. It's easier when we have rifles and the state is the Uvalde police. I mean... This is one of the reasons we need to get off of here and start doing work. This just tells us the idea of revolution will be easy. No one ever says that. And of course, I 100% advocate that you go out and do work. But I also understand we need to have the voice. We need to have voices that are organizing and introducing people to these ideas, uh, you know, and who recommend people join these organizations. This is all part of building a mass movement. You need mass voices. Every movement has these elements to it. So I want to tell you, spend some of your time joining DSA, joining those local organizations, and keep your ear to the ground as the world develops. I have a bad hot take, but I'll see a path forward to re regulate guns. There are so many people that vote based on gun policy. I think we would get more voters if leftists dropped gun policies from platforms. I know this is insensitive, but when door knocking in East and Central Oregon, this comes up a lot. That is a factual statement. And my response to that is those people just need to be overcome on the gun issue. And when the gun issue is re definitively resolved, then, uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what to say. Americans are really brain poisoned. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. Dems did drop gun policy, but the gun violence keeps happening. And the Republicans keep framing them as big gun grabbers. Anyway, doesn't matter. You're not going to be more pro-gun than the Republicans. You just aren't. You're just not going to be pro gun, more pro gun than Republicans. So many people have tried. It just doesn't work. And ultimately, the NRA and the gun rights movement is an arm of capitalists, manufacturers of guns. They know who their friends are. You're not going to outgun them. Irish people weren't allowed weapons when they had their revolution. They just took them from the cops and military. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to explain. To your amendment. I believe that's the true intent and purpose of the Second Amendment. Let me just see if I have any that. debate on this amendment. It, what I have is we advocate the right of individuals to own any weapon or device which any government agency possesses. Is that correct? Here it is in writing. Over here, you got to give it to the secretary. Okay, the the amendment is as Private follows. Citizens. We advocate the right of private citizens to own any weapon or device which any government agency possesses. OK. 
Okay, Mr. Dasma. I'd like to speak in opposition to that uh, amendment. Uh, that would mean that uh, individuals can own nerve gas, atomic weapons, et cetera. And I don't think that's going to be very easy for our candidates to try to explain in 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm speaking in favor of the amendment. I think it's an absolutely abhorrent idea, but it is consistent <laughs> with our defense of individual rights, and I don't think that our platform should be addressed to trying to appeal to the sensitivities of people, but to try to educate them. And if something we say makes that task harder, so be it. I support the amendment. Libertarianism and a right-wing brain in a nutshell. What I'm doing is going to have horrible consequences that could kill us all. But it is consistent. I'll bite that bullet. Or in this case, I'll drink the nerve gas. This is all you need to show. Anybody, someone tell, anytime someone tells you they're libertarian, take this clip. Take this fucking clip. I think that the Uvalde shooter should have been able to detonate a nuclear weapon. I think the Uvalde shooter should have been able to order sarin gas from the fucking uh, internet with his bitcoins and then blanket his entire town with nerve gas instead of just going to the uh, Uvalde shooter uh, uh, elementary school. I think the Uvalde shooter should have been able to buy weapons grade C4 and detonated it at, the, at, at a dam. Drowning a million people downstream. That's what they think. I'm sorry, but some social control is good because I like living. I don't want to be choked by poisonous gas. I don't want to die at a damn collapse flood. I don't want to eat poisoned food or get shot when going to a concert just because some guy is feeling really depressed and hates the world because he can't get laid. If we legitimated, uh, legalized private in nukes, think of all the jobs created by the newly created nuclear centrifuge industry. Oh, good point. Holy crap. Mr. Carlin. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Needs to be I'd like to speak in opposition. Uh, to the I amendment. recognize Mr. Carlin. I oppose the amendment. I believe that the Second Amendment specifically should re should be taken to refer only to targetable weapons because they can be directed at our enemies. Non-targetable weapons, weapons of mass destruction, can be presumed will necessarily kill innocent civilians in the process. I think that is inappropriate. I recognize you, uh, Milton Norris, State of Ohio. I wish to speak against the amendment. I think this is... Okay, we don't need to see all these libertarians uh, trying to cope and line up their insane ideology. Hopefully one day common sense will prevail. Video game revenue per person estimate for 2019. The average person in Japan spends $150 a year in video games. Here's the violent gun deaths per 100,000 people. The United States is what? Eight, 20 times. Jesus. You know, see, it's, it's just something about the American brain. When we play video games, it affects us. But these, these enlightened Europeans and Asians, they, they don't get affected. Are you watching the stream unsubbed? You're making income inequality worse. You are doing anti-praxis. We are the only Twitch stream that will not accept scam advertisers. And I will never fuck you over by selling you crap.